Right, hello guys, Alex from Peak Performance Reviews. Uh, got a new review for you today, a um, bit of a modified beastie. We are out in the Revo Stage 3. Uh, well, actually, Revo Stage 3 cross uh, standalone uh, 300 horsepower, basically, uh, Fiesta ST 180. Um, we haven't been out in this, we've been out in the car a little uh, for a little while, and basically, Gary has been able to switch maps from the Revo Stage 3 to a standalone engine management in uh, system all in about kind of 30 seconds which is pretty cool so been out in both um, but not much in the standalone car just pop the standalone um, on and the map on and basically we're going to go back out in it I'll tell you a bit more about the car and we'll give you links in the bio as to what's on this car um, straight away you can feel it's a little bit noisier you've got a bit of vibration through the um, through the steering wheel it's a lot more raw than the uh, um, car that basically I'll show you as well which is our, our kind of team car which is the Revo Stage 2 um, with bolt-ons um, but yeah it feels a bit of an animal as soon as you uh, sit in it and it kind of pops and it bangs but anyway enjoy the video guys and I'll uh, let you know a bit more about the car Kind of active 
torque steering kind of natural reaction and it's it's a bit unnerving if you're not used to it but basically it'll follow every groove in the road because in reality it's got mechanical grip and it's just gripping and you know absolutely you know hunkering down onto that road and it's following that part of the road so naturally you will kind of you'll see it doing this and this kind of old school torque steering thing but on the track um, again different different kettle of fish different gravy much much better um, absolutely superb the ride's obviously quite firm it's not overly firm i could live with this gary at apt lives with this daily and he daily drives this car and i can understand why it's not that crashy and hard um, but it's very very raw i like that um, i'd happily daily it like this as well but i've always liked my quite raw um, you know full-on cars anyway but it's a cracking um, cracking cracking uh, uh, drive and you really can feel that it handles i mean the standard st is a, an incredible car anyway but um, you know with these uh, modifications on the car it's an absolute rocket you're talking about for without all the upgraded stuff like the mechanical work uh, or the, the plated diff and the uh, the ecu modifications um, you know from revo you can have these bolt-on kits for around 1100 pounds all in if you've got already the stage two kit so for 1100 on to 1300 pounds it's absolutely crazy you can take a car from about 240 or whatever they're saying obviously the, the, the claim figures make on the, the stage two car and you can take this car to 300 horsepower with a bolt on modification for 1100 1300 pound you're not going to be able to do that with many other cars so pounds for smile i mean you are getting such a good deal so straight away for me um, it makes me want to do that to the team car and i have to say guys if you're thinking about doing it and you're keeping your car for a little while get on it guys it is absolutely amazing it is it turns this car into a little you know an absolute little animal to be fair like again i say the stage two car is an absolute beast it is such a quick car this car just takes it on another level and really really does make you know make this car so so quick and so much fun um obviously keep having a look at around we'll show you around the car and uh obviously show you more of the car and talk to you more about all the other bits and mods on the car. Um, keep watching and we'll uh, see you again soon in a bit. Good. 
pumps and sparring brakes. It's uh, very worthwhile.
scrambling, obviously, with the differentials doing uh, uh, working overtime to do everything it needs to do to keep the client on the road. And you can just, it's still got the same characteristics of the standard car, not, not the diff, but basically, it's just got the same characteristics where you can just bevel the throttle. basically the car the rear rear of the car being a little bit loose um, and then you can basically just drive it back in and get that basically that arse end back in line just from throttle response it's beautiful um, it's absolutely lovely I mean you, like I say rear wheel drive cars we all know and love and uh, for, for drivers cars and for you know driver focus and enjoyment but as front wheel drive cars go um, there's lots of really really good fun front wheel drive cars that are, are real proper true drivers cars and often the ones that are those kind of cars that make you smile like that they're the ones that feel very old school and mechanical like the old school fast front wheel drive cars that used to you know exist i mean they're not fast by today's standards of course but um that kind of mechanical feel you get from it this car gives you that and uh, that just puts a smile on your face and for me honestly guys if you ever want to try um, one of these cars and you're able to try it out but rest assured from me living with a Revo stage 2 car and then going out in something like this I'm not bullshitting you guys you need to go out and get one of these cars if you're thinking about spending some money on this car So you've seen us basically go out in both the Revo Stage 3 car and also the Revo Stage 2. A um, bit more obviously from this car that we need to tell you about. Basically, um, not only can Gary at APT basically do the, uh, go out on this car in Revo Stage 3 mode, he can also basically, within about five minutes, change to a standalone engine management system, which is what he does. He basically we highlighted what basically the, the car feels like on the standard package and also with standalone. Definitely from driving both, um, the Revo Stage 3 software is very, very good. It feels much like the Revo Stage 2 software, only amped up. Obviously with the standalone, it feels a lot more smooth. And obviously if you're keeping a car and you're thinking about going really quite leery with it, it's probably worth thinking about doing. But basically, to summarize, basically this car is an absolute animal. It's basically like the Stage 2 car, but amped up and basically on steroids, like I said before. It is really such a good package. And so basically remains really really fun obviously this car comes with the uh, plated diff as we said the CAS plated diff and also comes with the uh, upgrade oil, um, oil overs as well but you know it, at the end of the day the stage 2 car still works really really well which is still on the springs it's on the IBAC lowering springs and the pro spring kit but the differences between this and that are night and day really it's just amped up and it's just so much more powerful and it's really really worth going to like I said to you in, in the links in the video and everything like that, and basically I, I said £1,100 to £1,300, you can have a billet wheel turbo, 300 horsepower on a, on a quite harsh dyno as well. 
and it just makes this car an absolute animal but it takes it really really well Sa chassis basically takes it all really really well absolutely superb again just want to say thank you so much for watching guys as always like subscribe share the video as much as you can and join us on all the social networks we're already on thank you very much for watching take care and goodbye